changes. Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome into the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. And I've been getting asked a lot for updates on our remote control sales. Those of you new to this channel or don't know, we purchased 6,000 remote controls in a bulk purchase for 50 cents a piece. They were $3,000. We also paid the shipping cross country. So it came out to about $3,200, $3,300. We ended up splitting the cost of shipping with the seller. Um, and because it was so overwhelming, I took 3,000 and Keith and Star, my friends from Flippin' Hippo, took 3,000 remotes. So 3,000 came here to Florida, 3,000 to Pittsburgh where they live. And I wanted to give you guys kind of an update, uh, one on the process that we do, how fast they are to list, to test, and also how the sales have been. So we got them a little over 90 days ago. Um, it was the middle end of October. So middle end of October to November to December to January, and now we're in February. Um, so it's it's been about three and a half months, but um, really I just took this data the first week or two, we didn't do much with it. And then, um, you know, with the Christmas break and taking a few days off work there, and then uh, I only took the sales up until um, the end of January into the first couple days of February. So about 90 days and we've done a little over $3,000 in sales. Now remember that net, uh, we're losing 10% eBay, 4% 4, 4 PayPal, it's 2.9 plus 30 cents. Our average sale price is about 15 bucks. Um, so 30 cents on $15 is like, what, 10% would be $1.50 or, you know, so 20%, 2% would be uh, that 30 cents. So you're talking about, you know, 4.9 actually. We're losing 14, 15% uh, worth of eBay and PayPal fees. Uh, the shipping, average shipping on these is about $3. So that's 20%. Um, so that puts us up around, uh, you know, the 14 plus 20 is 34% uh, in pocket, call it uh, 35%. So we're actually only getting 65% of our sale on that $15. So you guys can see the $15 is only turning into about 11. Um, losing three on the shipping, which leaves us 12 and we're paying about two to three bucks on uh, uh, on fees. So that leaves us actually, you know, about 10, really nine to $10 but it's almost all profit because we only paid 53 cents. Okay, so I wanna show you the process and I also wanna tell you that um, you know, when we first started listing, obviously you get 10 up, 20 up, 30 up, 40 up. We've been slacking a lot. We've only put up a few hundred remotes. We've sold about 200 of them and we put up probably an additional 200, so maybe 400 out of 3,000. Really in this amount of time, we should have had up about six to 800, but we just have so much else going on that we weren't able to focus our full time. My point for you guys is if you focus your whole time, somebody could have easily sold five to $6,000 and profited probably about 60, 65%. Um, so on 3,000, you know, making two grand in profit, if you had sold four or five, you could have made three to 4,000 in profit. So um, basically uh, we have a bunch here that I'm gonna show you guys. And then I'm gonna show you um, just what we do to uh, list them, to sell them, to prep them, to test them and to do everything that you guys need to do if you are gonna get remotes. And also, there are a lot of other electronics you can sell that sell a lot faster than clothing that you can prep and list just as fast. Now, in theory, if you take you know 90 days of 12 weeks and we've listed 400, that's only, what, 30 to 40 per week, right? Um, really, we should have been listing, again, 80 to 100. I'm gonna show you how right now. Okay, so we got a bunch of remotes that we just did some testing and cleaning on. Essentially, we're just using some regular Lysol spray that you can see right there. Um, little hand sanitizer and a wipe down rag so you can clean them really quick, make sure they're clean, any kind of sticky on them, whatever. And then we're numbering each one. So we have a numbering system. We went A, A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, all the way up to B. 50, A50, C50. We're currently on the I, so you can see I32, I28, I7 numbering them all in order. And then, so basically what you do after you clean them up is, and we've pulled a lot of the batteries out of the good ones. We have some of our own batteries. Some of them take watch batteries, which um, Kate has a um, stack of watch batteries somewhere around here, I'm not sure, but you can see we have the AA and AAA ready to go. And then um, you can switch batteries in and out. You make sure you know what the good batteries are, the bad ones, you know, don't keep them around. Oh, there's one of her watch batteries right there. And then you can um, just quickly test them. So what you'll do is obviously put the batteries in and then you're gonna wanna point your smartphone at uh, selfie mode and then point the remote at 
the smartphone in selfie mode and then it will show the light. And so that's a quick way to test them. And so basically you can wipe these down. You could take 20, which I think there's 20 here. You could take 20 of these, wipe them down, scrub them really good, and then point them, switch batteries in and out and point them at your remote and test and check about 20 of them in probably, you know, I would say a half an hour. It's a minute and change each. You should be able to wipe this thing down and 10, 15, 20 seconds, get it all clean, uh, stick a number on it, and then um, you know, point it at the, the selfie mode camera and test it pretty quickly. So then once you have it tested and you make sure that it's working, then you can wrap it up inside of a little plastic uh, bread baggie or a mini baggie. You can buy these on eBay or at the store or whatever. Um, this is uh, what it will look like when it's done. So that the number doesn't get lost and you know exactly where the remote is when you have to go pull it to ship it. And when you sell I-22, which you'll put in the SKU line or the title or however you do it, you can pull it right out, put it inside of your envelope and you know that you have I-22 ready, okay? So once you've tested them, they're all prepped. These are all prepped, clean, tested, and numbered. If they're bad, then you just, you know, you don't number them and waste a number. You just get rid of them or recycle them or whatever. Um, so these are all ready to go. So now you have to list them. So now you can just take your, um, you can just take your remote, put it on your background. Now this isn't our background. We use all white, of course, and take the photo. Or you can use the new app that I, um, recommended that gives white instant backgrounds. You hold your phone right over it, snap a photo, snap a photo. You can get the photo of the inside model number if you want, but you should be able to snap the photo in a minute, one minute. So, you know, 20 minutes for 20 remotes, 30 minutes to clean them, that's 50. And that you should be able to make the listings with a template in probably a minute or two each. So I'm gonna say three minutes for the photos and the listing per remote which gives you one hour and then maybe 30 minutes of cleaning. So 90 minutes for 20 remotes. So it should be three hours for 40 remotes. You can get up in three hours, 40 remotes. Even if you just did 30 remotes in three hours and that was your whole three hour work day, um, you know, you could do that five days a week and get up 150 remotes, 600 listings in a month, even if it's just 500, which again, we're lowering it a little bit. Um, but you can do that with pretty much any electronic. If it was a... Um, web camera like I have sitting over there or a microphone or a DSLR camera or you know if you're photographing Yeti cups like that or um, you know pretty much anything that you see that's quick and easy to test and clean uh, it could be a router it could be a modem could be uh, you know whatever you find that's not too difficult uh, but these are just really easy so that's how we're able to get them up that quickly and uh, I'll flip back over here to me. Yeah, um, so that's how we're able to get them up so quickly and how you can test. Again, if we were able to dedicate our full time, that $3,000 in sales would have easily been five or 6,000. And you could just put that, you know, we're doing what, 1,000 a month in 90 days, you could have easily done 1,500 a month. And if you did that out over the course of a year, you're talking about $1,500 a month being 18, 20,000 for the year in just being able to sell quick product like that. A lot of you can't fathom. Now, of course, the profit margin, hopefully you're working on 50 to 60%, but I'm just giving you an example. If you just add these hard goods and products, they sell as quick as you can list. Now, remember I told you, we've listed about 400 listings. We've sold 200. We sold 50% of all the remotes we listed because they're hard goods and they're electronics and they sell. You can't do that with clothing unless you're really, really good and you exactly know which uh, sizes and brands and, and everything to get and at a good price. Not to mention how much longer do clothes take to list when you're dressing a mannequin, when you're measuring um, necklines and, and hems and measurements and inseams and stuff. So you can compare this listing process to clothes and you will find that the difference is pretty drastic, right? And so clothing are great to sell. I preach about them. I show everyone how to sell them. Um, but there are so many better products to sell. If you're stuck on clothing, then by all means, just know that you're gonna spend a lot more time listing and you're gonna have to put a lot more time into it in order to get back out of it because you're gonna need thousands of clothing listings as opposed to a couple hundred um, remotes. You know, you could have a store with three or 400 remotes and do 1,000, 1,500 a month in sales. If you had a store with three or 400 pieces of clothes, you might be lucky to sell two a day, which would be 60 at 20 bucks a piece. You might, might get to a thousand or 1200 a month. 
Um, you know, with the remotes, the average sale price, 15 bucks, you know, you could sell with 200 remotes, you could sell two or three a day and sell that same 60, 70 remotes and still do the thousand, 1500, but look at how much less time it takes to list, measure, do whatever, you know, clean versus the, the clothing side of it. Plus less likelihood that you're going to find rips and damages. Most remotes work literally out of all the ones we've tested, hundreds of testings, not too many have been trash or junk. So, um, and you know, if you can't find that many remotes, there are tons of other products that you can sell. Tons of other products that you can, you can list just as quickly that are electronics or hard goods, you know, video games, routers, modems, headphones. What You know, I go through all of this. It's all included in the package below. You can check that out. Uh, if you need to know what to sell on eBay and you want to sell more stuff, you want to sell better stuff, um, please don't hesitate. I know a lot of you are on the fence about getting that package for 2020. Um, you own all those guides and videos for life. It's one time purchase. You don't pay every month or any of that other stuff you see. It's one time you get it. It's below and uh, you'll learn all the things that you can sell besides remote controls. So sell better stuff, guys. Make more money. Do it faster. Work smarter, not harder. And um, you'll make more money. That's just about as simple as I can make it. So there's our process testing listing. Um, and once they're all up and labeled, let me give you guys just real quick. I'll pick it up because everyone's going to ask after we label them, what do we do with them? Well, you just stick them inside of a bin labeled I, and then when you need them, you just flip through real quick, you can find it. Uh, oh, we sold I-9, not really, but I'm just telling you guys, there's I-9, goes in our envelope, out the door it goes. Oh, we sold I-12, there it is. Yes, you do have to dig a little bit. I mean, you'd have to create individual cubby holes if not, but for the most part, it's not a big deal to just flip through, you know, when you sell a couple remotes every day. And honestly, now that we're up to four or 500 <clears throat> that we've gone through, we're gonna sell three or four a day this month on average. We're probably gonna sell about 100, and 20 plus remotes this month. So it just exponentially grows as you keep stacking that inventory. So the next 90 days, the goal uh, went from 3,000 in sales, part-time listing them to 5,000 in sales. So that's our goal for February, March, and April remotes is 5,000 total gross with about a 3,000 net yield. So good luck guys. Um, do pick up the package if you need help. Uh, not only finding new items to source, but also where to source them. A lot of people ask me, how do you find remotes like this? I'm gonna show you how to find other stuff in those videos. All those private webinars and videos you get, talk about other places to find that are not thrift stores. So uh, it's worth its weight in gold just for that. Anyways, I'll let you guys get back to your Monday. It is Monday, uh, enjoy it, have a wonderful week, good luck on sales, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.